Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room and talk about my new haircut. I am obsessed with it. If you follow me on Insta stories, then you've already seen my hair. Um, but yeah, I cut quite a few inches off. It was super long. I probably cut a good like six inches off my hair. So um, yeah, I really, really love it. Um, I did link my haircut to my highlights on my Insta story. It's under the beauty tab. So if you want to learn all about the cut and the color and everything, you can go watch that. My Instagram handle is always linked down below in the description box. But today's video is going to be a get ready with me using all of my new and recent purchases particularly the purchases that I made during the Sephora VIB sale. I did film a haul, so that will be linked down below in the description box as well in case you missed that video. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today, a full face. I did kind of speed through the foundation, concealer, and eyebrow application just because I do that and talk about that in every single one of my Get Ready With Me's. So if you wanna see a little bit more in depth of that, you can go watch another one of my Get Ready With Me's if you haven't in the past. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy the video. First things first, I'm gonna apply my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is such a good lip balm. Feels so nice and hydrating on the lips. Next up, I am going to prime my face using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really, really like this primer. I do save it for more special occasions or if I'm gonna be out and about and I need my makeup to look great all day just because it is expensive and I don't wanna waste it, you know, just for running errands and hanging out at home with the kids. So I just take a little bit, rub it between my fingers and then rub it into my skin. It's really silky feeling, but it does a really good job of filling in my pores as well. My makeup lays really nicely on top of this primer and it smells really, really good. I love the way it smells. My Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist has a really nice smell too. This are the only two Tatcha products that I have. So I'm assuming the rest of her products smell really good as well. Next up, I'm gonna do my foundation, my concealer, and my eyebrows, but I'm actually going to speed through this next part. I have applied my foundation and my concealer and my brows in I think pretty much every single get ready with me. So for foundation today, I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. For concealer, my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And then for brows, I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. some of the fun stuff since the base is done. We're gonna start off with my new liquid cream Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm gonna start with the Hollywood Contour Wand. I have really, really been enjoying both of these products. So I'm just gonna make sure I have enough product. It's like a squeeze tube into these little spongies. And you don't need a lot. You apply it directly to the face. Then I do a little bit down the sides of my nose. And then I'm gonna take the Hollywood Complexion brush and blend out that contour shade. It's really nice products. I've been really, really enjoying them. They blend out so nicely and they don't pick up my foundation either. And I've worn this with a lot of different foundations. I've worn it with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion um, foundation, my Dior Forever Skin foundation, obviously the NARS Sheer Glow, that's the one that I'm using today. I do need to pick up another It Cosmetics CC cream. 
for summertime. That's like one of my favorite products to wear in the summers. Use the smaller side for my nose. So I'm curious to see, I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna work fine with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream because that product is nice and creamy on the skin and it's not drying in any way so I don't imagine that it'll pick up any product on that either. Just gives the face a nice warmth and then I take whatever's left over and line my jawline with it. I don't apply any of the product directly to my jaw. I just don't find that it looks very good. And then after that, I'm gonna take the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. Um, this is in the shade Spotlight. She did come out with new colors of this, but this is like her original color. So I'm just gonna apply this to the high points of my cheeks and to my nose into my cupid's bow and then i'm gonna take my sponge and just blend that in it's such a pretty highlight color so 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 pretty i love it and then i just take my flat side and make sure the rest of it is blended and there we go. Look how pretty that is. It just makes your skin look like glass. It's such a nice highlighter. So I'm not going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Blush and Bloom Palette today. I have another get ready with me that I want to do. Basically like my typical summer face with like all cream products and just the products that I like to use in the summertime. So I'm going to save that palette for that video. I don't want the kind of base to be exactly the same in both videos. Um, so before I set, I'm just going to tap out underneath my eyes. Um, just to make sure that my concealer is uh, not creased or anything because I do have fine lines. And then I'm going to take my Hourglass Mineral Veil Loose Setting Powder and I am going to set my under eyes and everywhere else that I placed concealer. I did pick up another jar of this because this one is almost out. Really, really like this powder a lot. It's really, really nice, very finely milled. Looks really good under your eyes, especially if you have fine lines. Next up, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have mine in the shade two. I should try the shade one. I feel like that shade might also work really well for me. And I'm just going to uh, pat this all over my face and down my neck. This is also, I don't even know how many compacts of these I've gone through but I really really love this powder as well I have one in my purse I have one in my makeup bag um, it's a really really nice finely milled powder so now you can see what everything looks like you can still see the liquid bronzer underneath you can still see the liquid highlight popping through. I'm doing this get ready with me as if I were going to go out at night, go out with my husband, with my friends, to an event, anything like that. So I am going to apply more bronzer and highlight on top of this. But if I was just getting ready on an everyday basis, this is all that I would do. I wouldn't add anything extra just because I still have dimension even with that powder over top. Um, but like I said, if I was going out, I would apply more, which is what I'm going to do now. And I'm using my Marc Jacobs um, coconut bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's so, so nice. And it's a really, really good color for warming up your face. And I'm using the Sigma. This is the small contour. I've had this brush for a while. I do really enjoy this brush. It's like not too dense, not too fluffy, but it's a very, very good size. I, at the moment, am into smaller brushes for bronzing versus some of my larger brushes. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit extra. I haven't really been putting a lot more product on my nose. I think that it looks really good with that liquid contour underneath. Um, and then just setting over top, it looks a little bit more natural. So I haven't really been adding any extra product to my nose. I just take whatever's left on my brush and kinda dust it on the outside and on the tip. And that's pretty much it. So there's the Marc Jacobs bronzer on top. Also just a little extra 
along my jawline for a little definition. For blush, I am using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk blush. I just realized this Get Ready With Me is very Charlotte Tilbury heavy, but that's just because I love Charlotte Tilbury. And uh, this blush is no exception. I have four of her blushes. If y'all wanna see a video of me reviewing my whole Charlotte Tilbury collection, let me know in the comments down below. I love watching like brand reviews like that and seeing videos on products that people have just centered around one one brand and giving you know mini reviews on each of the products so if you want to see my charlotte tilbury collection just let me know i have a ton of her lipsticks blushes powders liquid products and this highlighter duo i have been using a lot recently it's this one from pixie and it's the glowy gossamer duo and delicate dew and um, i just mix the two shades together one's a little bit more gold and one's more pink and um, I've been using this to highlight my face and for highlighting my um, brow bone and inner corner when I do my eyeshadow. Um, I just really have been liking these and they're super easy to get. You can find me Target. I don't know, does Ulta sell Pixie? I'm not sure. But I really, really like that highlighter duo. So my base is done. We're gonna move on to eyeshadow and I'm using my Natasha Denona Biba palette. So I did a really simple but really pretty eye look for my friend's baby shower this past weekend. So that's the look that I'm gonna do for you guys today. I only use four shades. This one here, which is, what is this? Tusk, Freckle, Rustic, I'm lying, I was five. And then I mixed Monroe and Shine and like pop that on the lid. So it's super quick, super easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna mix Tusk and Freckle. Freckle's really nice on its own, but it is a little bit deeper than what I'm wanting for this look in particular. So I am going to dust this all through my crease. Those two shades together work really pretty, pretty together the other eye I love this palette it costs an arm and a leg but it is so 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 worth it oh my gosh I love Natasha Denona's eyeshadows so yeah I have a couple of her palettes but they're so good okay I'm gonna take this little eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques it came in a eyeshadow brush duo these are actually the two brushes that it came with my first eyeshadow brushes from real techniques and i actually really love both of these brushes um i'm going to take the shade rustic here which is a dark shimmery brown but when applied with this sort of duo fiber eyeshadow brush it goes on a little bit more sheer and it looks beautiful on the lid which is where i am going to put it such a pretty bronzy color and it looks like, like I said, it looks super dark in the pan, which you can make it dark, but this eyeshadow is very, very buildable. Build that up just a tad bit more. And I am dusting a little bit of it in the crease as well. Okay, so I have my desired color. I'm gonna go back to my crease brush. I didn't put any extra product. I'm just gonna blend out the crease. A little bit since I put a little bit of that rustic shade in it and then I'm gonna take my finger and I am going to mix Monroe and shine together and just pop that in the center of my lid I'm gonna wipe off my finger and just kind of blend the edges to the other side Go back to my brush, not any extra product. Blend a little bit more. Okay, now, meet my brush, I am going to do my lower lash line. I'm gonna mix Freckle and Tusk again, those first two shades, and apply that to my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the uh, viewfinder as a mirror real fast. Place it right. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow bone really quick and I'm gonna use that highlighter duo from Pixie. Use my MAC 242. Apply 
that to the brow bone and the inner corner. It's a great, great highlight shade, like I said, for the face and for your eyeshadow. I just really love the tone and it's so shiny and glossy looking. So depending on the time of day, the event, what have you, that's when I decide whether or not I'm gonna do eyeliner. I typically don't do eyeliner, but I'm gonna do eyeliner today. I am gonna curl my eyelashes first, because I find that if you curl your eyelashes after, it can take off some of that eyeliner. And for my eyeliner, I am using a pencil, actually, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. So this is the Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pencil. It's super duper black. And the blacker the eyeliner, the better. So I am going to apply just a little bit to the outer corner. That's it. That's all I want to apply, just a teeny tiny bit. And I'm going to take my MAC, what is this, 208 brush, and blend it out. I don't even take it all the way in. It is so hard to do eyeliner on camera. Do like a little wink. And that's literally it. I'm gonna do the other eye. Of course, one side is a little, the wing is a little thicker on one side than it is on the other. But what can you do? Just cause it's gonna get don't judge me if they don't look even to you. They're not perfectly even, but whatever. So yeah, that is how I do my eyeliner these days. Super easy, super simple, super fast. And I like blending out that pencil because it is still really black, but it's a little softer. And I apologize that the lighting keeps changing. I am filming in front of a window. I do have my lights, but this camera, the Canon G7X, it does not keep color very well at all. So I'm going to prime my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. I was trying to use up my Lash Paradise Mascara Primer, um, and I used almost all of it, but the one in the white tube, the Voluminous one, is way better in my opinion. Um, I do prefer, though, a drier formula, and this one is a little bit drier. The Lash Paradise one I find works really good with the actual Lash Paradise Mascara, but the primer formula is like a mousse. It's very, well maybe not a mousse isn't the right word. It's very whipped, I think is a better word. Using nuts. And then I'm gonna take my Hourglass Caution Mascara and apply this. This is a really good mascara. Um, I do, though, with my mascaras, just to help them thicken up a little bit. Um, I find that like after they've been open for a week, they perform the best. I don't know if, oh shoot, it's okay. I'll let that dry and then I'll wipe it off. Um, I find that like my mascaras and my pomades and stuff work better after they've been open for a few days. Okay, now I'm going to set my brows using my Benefit Give Me Brow. This is starting to get a little dry, so I'll probably have to pick up another one of these soon. Probably should have just picked one up during the sale, during the Sephora sale, but. I'm sure we'll get another like Ulta coupon or something soon. Let's do lips really quick and then I will clean up my mascara mistakes. So I'm going to mix together two lipsticks. I'm gonna apply Kim KW first from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not gonna bother with a lip liner today. Sometimes I just don't think it's necessary depending on of course the colors and the type of lipstick you're wearing. And then I'm applying Pillow Talk on top it just makes a really pretty pinky color. Okay, and this is the final makeup look. This is the makeup that I wore to my friend's baby shower this weekend, and I absolutely loved it, and I think it's super appropriate and pretty for summer. Also, I turned off my lights. I feel like that was a huge issue. I don't know what's going on with my lighting, but I feel like the lighting right now with just regular natural light looks so much better, so I do apologize if 
the lighting in this video annoyed you guys because it annoyed me to no end while I was filming this. So um, again, I apologize for that. So I doubt I will be using my lights in the future. I'm just gonna stick with natural light because that seems to work the best sitting here on the floor in my room when I do my makeup. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have all the products that I used today linked down below in the description box. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.